Hey guys, John of the for JM Sports Hard and the JM Sports Show. How is it going? I can make NBA picks, college basketball picks, and college football bowl picks for Saturday, December 15th, 2012. Bowl season is upon us, so we are a little ways away from determining a national champion. I'm going to do the bowl thing last because that's going to take a little bit of time because I'm going to do a little bit of in depth stuff. Uh, with that, so that'll be the last pick. So, if those of you who are looking for that, go to the end of the video. I'll give you a second to do that. Okay, time's up. Um, I'm gonna do college basketball first because that was our most successful thing uh, that we did uh, uh, yesterday, and there's that's got the most in it to do. So, let's do that right away. We went two and zero in college basketball yesterday uh, with that we have a college basketball record of 158 and 45 on the year 1,000 uh, 141 wins 450 losses lifetime here we go 33 picks let's make them no channels no times what ESPN.com or wherever you go each times number one Indiana takes on Butt Lake me Indiana West Virginia takes on number three Michigan game Michigan Canisius takes on 4th ranked Syracuse, give me the Cuse, 5th ranked Florida, 8th ranked Arizona, no upset here, I'm gonna go with Florida. 6th uh, ranked Louisville takes on Memphis, give me uh, Louisville, uh, UNC Asheville takes on 7th ranked Ohio State, give me Ohio State, Belmont takes on 9th ranked Kansas, give me Kansas, Cincinnati, 11th uh, ranked the nation, taking on Marshall, give me the Bearcats, Kansas State takes on Gonzaga, I'm gonna go with uh, Gonzaga, Gonzaga 14th ranked, Western Carolina in 15th ranked, uh, Georgetown, I'm going with uh, Georgetown. This is my one upset that I have in the top 25 today. This next one, 16th ranked Creighton in California, I'm going to go with Cal. New Mexico State and 17th ranked New Mexico, give me New Mexico. San Diego, and takes on 18th ranked San Diego State, give me San Diego State. Uh, Tuskegee takes on 18th, uh, 19th ranked Michigan State, give me the Spartans. East Carolina takes on number 21, North Carolina, give me North Carolina, Purdue takes on number 22, Notre Dame, give me Notre Dame, and last but not least, Norfolk State takes on 25th ranked, North Carolina State, I'm going to go with the Wolf Pack, uh, Lipscomb takes on uh, Kentucky, give me Kentucky, Texas A&M takes on Oklahoma, going to go with Oklahoma, uh, Georgia Southern, Virginia Tech, give me Virginia Tech, Savannah State takes on Marquette, give me Marquette, Northern Iowa takes on Iowa, give me Iowa. Dartmouth takes on Arizona State, give me Arizona State. Alabama and Virginia Commonwealth, I'm going to go with Alabama. Uh, Nebraska and Oregon, and Oregon, give me Nebraska. Uh, UC Davis takes on Stanford, give me Stanford. Uh, UC Riverside takes on USC, give me SC. Bethune Cookman takes on Pittsburgh, give me Pittsburgh. Florida A&M takes on Clemson, give me Clemson. Jackson State takes on Washington, give me Washington. Uh, Alcorn State takes on Arkansas, give me Arkansas. Um, Mississippi State takes on Loyola, Illinois, I'm going to go with Mississippi State. Prairie View a and UCLA, give me UCLA. And last but not least, Utah State takes on Utah Valley, uh, and I'm going to go with Utah State. Let's move now to the NBA. Uh, eight and three, I want to say, is what we did over there. Could have been eight and four, pretty sure it was eight and three. I do know this for a fact. That the overall record out in the NBA uh, is as follows, and that is 190 and 111 on the year, 1,095 wins, 603 losses lifetime. That means we went uh, eight and three, I believe. I believe. Um. Yes. Yes, we did. We went eight and three. All right. So there you go. Let's move. Let's take a look at picks now for Saturday. They look like this. Uh, Golden State and Atlanta, give me the Hawks. Uh, Orlando and Charlotte, give me the Magic. Give me the Cavs to beat the Knicks. Gonna go with the Cavs to beat the Knicks partly because uh, Carmel, even though the Knicks uh, have played well without, Car without Carmel in the past this year, he is questionable for the game uh, tomorrow. Uh, Washington and Miami, give me the Heat. Indiana and Detroit, give me the Patriots. There's something hanging in my hat and it's irritating the piss on me. There we go. Uh, excuse my language. Uh, Brooklyn and Chicago, um, Brooklyn and Chicago, I'm going to go from the Nets to beat the Bulls, Dallas and Minnesota, give me the Timberwolves to beat the Mavericks, uh, Clippers and Milwaukee, give me the, uh, Bucks to beat the Clips, S uh, Boston and San Antonio, I'm going to go with the Celtics and Memphis and Utah, give me the Grizzlies to beat the Jazz. 
I mean, not only really a lot harder to pick this year, even though I've struggled a little bit lately, but I can't wrap my head around the fact that Dallas is not good. I have a problem wrapping my head around that. Alright, let's move now to the bowl season. We've been picking bowl games for a year and a half. I only picked a few of them back in 2010. I picked all of them in 2011. We went 24 and 11 uh, in 2011, and we went 30, we were 34 and 14 overall in the bowl games. So, um, do the math quickly. We went 10 and uh, 3 in the 13 games we picked back in uh, 2010. Let me explain to you how this is going to work. I'm playing a game for ESPN. It's a confidence game where I make my picks and put how confident I am. There's 35 games. One, so one of my confidence games had to be worth 35 points. We're not to that game yet. So when we get to that game, you'll know. So I'm going to give you my pick and how many points uh, I put that one for. There are 630 points overall that I could win. I'm putting a big chunk in one of the games tomorrow and not a big chunk in another game. I really honestly didn't put a lot of time into uh, confidence in the games. I don't have confidence, I don't have confidence in a lot of the games. Uh, first game we come to uh, is I'm making worth uh, only three points. Not a lot of confidence and I feel like I probably should have more confidence than I should but I don't and that is uh, the uh, Gilbert, New Mexico Bowl, which is 1 o'clock Eastern Time tomorrow on ESPN, uh, Nevada, and Arizona. And I'll tell you why I'm not all that confident in it. Arizona, I've watched Arizona play on several times this year. They've been 7 and 5, so does Nevada. Uh, Nevada finished 4 and 4 in the Mountain West. Uh, Arizona finished 4 and 5 in Pac 12. Listen, both these teams, not that fantastic. Um, you know, Arizona. Just listen to the schedule. They beat Toledo, Toledo in overtime, 24-17. They beat Oklahoma State, 59-38. For Oklahoma State, really caught fire. Uh, South Carolina State, they whipped, 56-0. Who cares? Got whipped by Oregon. Who cares? Lost tight to Oregon State. Then lost tight to Stanford. Then beat Washington. Then lost. Uh, I'm sorry. Won tightly to USC. Then lost to UCLA. Beat Colorado. But who didn't beat Colorado? You, but, you know, they beat Utah, then they lost to Arizona State, 41-34. You didn't know what you were going to get out of Arizona. Every time I felt like I was confident in picking one of their games, they came out flat, they didn't play well. Meanwhile, let's take a look at Nevada. I think Nevada is kind of a big case of, of who did you play. Um, you know, they beat Cal, 31-24. Guess what, California, not that impressive this year. They lost still Florida, 32-31. They beat Northwestern State, 45-34. They beat Hawaii, 69-24. Texas State, 34-21. Uh, Wyoming, they beat 35-28 in overtime. Uh, they beat UNLV, 42-37 in overtime. UNLV, not that good. San Diego State, pretty good. 39-38 overtime loss. Air Force, 48-31 loss. Arizona, uh, Air Force, good. Fresno State, good. 52-36 loss. New Mexico, not good. 31-24. Uh, win 27-21 lost to Boise State in their last game of the year was New Mexico not the good team uh, yeah New Mexico was not the good team New Mexico State was the, was the better of the two so Nevada is there really a case of who we've beaten I, mean, I probably should be a little bit more confident in this game than I am uh, I'm going to go with Arizona to get the win but not really um, extremely confident about it I feel like I should be I, I feel like Arizona is is the much better team, but Nevada put up 30, you know, an average of 37 points a game uh, last year, um, and a big time running team, or this year, I mean, and you look at Arizona, and what Arizona put up, Arizona put up uh, about 37 a game too, I think it's going to be a very interesting game as far as, as scoring, because they gave up 34 points a game. You look at uh, Nevada. Nevada gave up 32 points a game. This is going to be a very, very interesting game. I think it's going to be high scoring, but I think Arizona gets some at the end, but I'm only making it worth three points. The other game that takes place tomorrow, I'm putting a lot of stake into. A lot of stake into it. And of the possible 35. Uh, points. I'm putting. Uh, I'm putting a 
Uh, what am I putting into it? Right here. I'm putting 32. Um, I'm putting my 32 spot into the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. Toledo and number 22 Utah State. Uh, some people are high on Toledo. I am not. Don't let them fool you. Listen, Utah State. Um, you know, it's like a Toledo. They lost to Arizona in overtime, 24-17, like we said. Beat Wyoming, 34-31. 27-24 win, Bowling Green. 38-28, uh, Coastal Carolina. Western Michigan, 37-17 win. Central Michigan, 50-35 win. Eastern Michigan, 52-47 win. They beat Cincinnati, 29-23. Buffalo, 25-20 was the win. They lost to Ball State, 34-27. Lost to Northern Illinois, 31-24. Beat Akron, 35-23. So who was their signature win. Their best win on this was Cincinnati. That's an impressive win. Other than that, not really all that impressive. Utah State, meanwhile, I watched them play several times. It took me a while to fall in love with them, but I did. Not saying they're a great football team, but they're definitely a powerful football team that can do damage. They beat Southern Utah 34-3. They beat Utah 27-20. Uh, they should have beat Wisconsin 16-14. Uh, they beat Colorado. They beat UNLV. They lost to BYU in a boring game. I watched that game. Not that exciting. 6-3. They beat a good San Jose State team. Not only did they beat them, they beat them badly. Uh, they beat New Mexico State, which was a fairly good team. They beat UTSA, which wasn't a great team against great schools, but did play tough at times. Beat Texas t uh, State. Beat Louisiana Tech um, in overtime. In a thriller. And they beat Idaho. Quite frankly, I think Utah State has their way with uh, Toledo, and that's why I'm making it worth so many points there. Alright, long video, holy man. Uh, NFL picks coming up tomorrow. Check them out. I am Bella. What's that? For JMSports100 and JMSports.org. I'll see you later.